The second part of the Everyone Can Create Guide to Making Word Art involves using shading and mark making. With my classes, we did this following the guide pretty closely, but there were a couple of things that I found worked really well that I'd like to share with you in this video. So first up, we have a look at the different types of lines and the effects they can have in our artwork. Moving on from this, I then had every child draw three black squares on their blank canvas. From here, they experimented with different ways of mark making to fill in those three boxes. We use the examples from the guide up on the board for inspiration. I found that quite a lot of the children actually found this task quite difficult. Filling in those boxes in creative and unusual ways, even with the inspiration on the board from the Everyone Can Create guide, is actually quite tough. So I gave them 10 minutes to do what they could, and if they finished they added a fourth or a fifth box on. And then we had a moment to kind of talk as a whole class about why we perhaps found this a little tricky. The general consensus was that we tend to kind of stick to what we know already, so we don't challenge ourselves to do different patterns or shapes or textures. To get around this, I had every child draw another three boxes and number them one, two and three. I then had everyone stand up and move to a different person's iPad. And in 10 seconds, I asked them to start a pattern in box number one. We repeated this for box two and box three. So every iPad had three different children's work in those boxes. I then asked for the original iPad owners to return to their seats and gave them five minutes to complete the patterns in those three boxes. This gave some really interesting results because the children now had to work with what they were given rather than starting from a blank box. This helped push them creatively and also got them thinking a little bit more about what different ways of mark making they could use. I wanted to allow quite a lot of time for the main activity in this section because I felt it was really important to give the children enough time to really experiment with their shape. Again, we followed the Everyone Can Create guide and put down a shape on our page. I let them choose what colour they'd like it to be. And then we used solely the pen tool to fill in that shape with patterns. My top tip at this stage would be to use the on-screen ruler to divide your shape up into irregular sized pieces to begin with. You might just want to use horizontal lines or you might do them at different angles. But by breaking up one big shape into maybe eight or 10 or even 12 individual sections, it gives the children areas to actually experiment with their mark making in rather than just one big overwhelmingly scary shape. As the children were working, I was wandering around and I encouraged them to try and use different ways to fill in those spaces. I put up the example from the guide with all the different boxes on the screen and we talked about which ones looked more black and which ones looked more white and why that was the case. Talking like this allowed us to think more about contrast and adding darks and lights into our pieces of work. By the end of the lesson, after about 40 minutes on the final piece, the children had all made something they felt really proud of. Please do make sure you give your pupils enough time to finish this activity. There's nothing worse than getting two thirds of the way there and not having quite enough time to finish it off. On screen now, you'll see a few of the highlights from my lessons. In the next video, we'll talk about block lettering and we'll be using some interesting materials to fill in our letters. Check back for that one soon.